What's it might not be required in this instance. I always like to draw a sketch of these kind of questions. So I'm going to draw the function y equals the modulus of 2x minus 3, which will have a critical point when this is equal to 0, so it's going to be when x is 3 over 2. And then the modulus function is in this sort of form always looks like a b because uh, it's not doing anything when x is above 3 over 2, so it's just 2x minus 3. And then when it's negative, it becomes 3 minus 2x. Then we can plot y equals 9. And it's going to be up here. I should have said, actually, that the intercept is going to be 3 here, because that's when x is 0. So we've just got the modulus of minus 3. And then this is 9. So what we're trying to do in this question is find these two points of intersection. And yeah, OK, you can do this without doing it um, using a graph, because it's either going to be when 2x minus 3 is equal to 9. And that corresponds with that point there, because when the positive version is equal to 9. So 2x is 12, x is 6. Or it's when the negative part of the modulus, which means it's minus 2x minus 3. I, I mentioned earlier that that was just 3 minus 2x, and that is equal to 9. So minus 2x will equal 6, and x will equal minus 3. This method extends well for when it, this is more complicated, because um, you can just sort of see where the intersections are as long as you draw your sketch reasonably accurately. But of course, in this case, you can just take the plus or minus and, and do it more quickly.